Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today for voting video number 129. This is a huge one for me personally, and I don't think a lot of people are going to be able to vote unless you live on the West Coast, California mainly. Lucky's Supermarket started in the town I grew up in. They're really big in the Bay Area, California, uh, San Francisco Bay Area. So this is so crazy. I saw this video here that this person had done, this Dory H. And she said she had a Mandela effect. And, and I, I watched the video and I was like, no, this is not a Mandela effect. I'm going to show her that they changed the name. So I went and looked and I was totally blown away. I'm like, what's going on? This here, this here, this is the oldest Mandela effect by so many more years now. This is like nine years prior to my Jiffy one in 2015. I, I picked up JIF and hadn't bought peanut butter in a long time and said, oh, wow, look, Jiffy changed their label. And I just went on with life until, you know, maybe five, six months later or something, I got hit in March of 2016 with the Mandela effect, you know, like a ton of bricks. And my life's been totally different every, ever since, mainly in a positive way. This is a positive thing. Those people talking about Satan and CERN and, you know, uh, Illuminati causing the government, causing these changes, whatever. I mean, they can, that can be their reality. That's not my reality. This is a spiritual awakening for me. And I've been on this since 9-11. And it's just been increasing ever since 9-11, 2001. I've been on this spiritual path. And it's kicked into high gear now. And it, it's great. I mean, I... You know, once I came to terms with the Mandela effect, I've been researching so much stuff and these things are just incredible. So anyway, back to Lucky's. I could, it blew me away. I was like, oh my God, this is a Mandela effect. I remember 1999, Albertsons bought them out and they went away. Lucky's went away. And then around 2006 or seven, I saw Lucky. The stores came back. They they brought the brand back, and I saw Lucky, and I'm like, oh, wow, they brought it back, but they left the S off. I was thinking that in 2006, 11 years ago. So I noticed this, this was a Mandela effect for me 11 years ago. Now, that just blows me away because I was – the Mandela effect is huge for me. Most of you know that. But the earliest one I could think of was 2015 with Jiffy. Well, this goes way back. And so this just totally blew me away. Now, I have something here. This is really interesting. This is a commercial. I remember it is L-U-C-K-Y apostrophe S. Always. I call my mom up, who shares a lot of memories with me. One of the people that shares the Mandela Effect memories with me. And I said, Mom, remember Lucky's Supermarket, Lucky Stores, growing up? Yeah, I'm okay, was it Lucky or was it Lucky's? She's like, Lucky's. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm going to go to Lucky. I'm going to Lucky's. I mean, yeah, right? Growing up, it was Lucky's. I said, no, mom, it's always been Lucky. And she lives in the valley and there are no Lucky supermarkets near her. So I don't even think she knew it ever even changed to Lucky. It never even changed for her. It, <laughs> I was like, mom, it's not Lucky's anymore. It's Lucky now that... They came out in 2006, and they've been lucky. That's you know, But that's not even true. It's been lucky since 1935. Oh, my gosh. Check this out. More produce they want. The produce man here at Lucky's always has a lot of... The produce man here at Lucky's. In the Lucky's commercial, this person who put this up in 2009 put Lucky's. There's no reason for her to say Lucky's. Let's check that out again. Produce man here at Lucky's always has a lot of information concerning the produce. He always uh, can tell me what the best value for the time of the year is. The fruits and vegetables here at Lucky's are the fruits and vegetables here at Lucky's are fantastic. I can go up and down. Fruits and vegetables here at Lucky's are fantastic. Here at Lucky's are fantastic. Here at Lucky's are fantastic. I think you guys got the point on that. She says Lucky's, and she says Lucky's in the Lucky commercial. I mean, this is a commercial for Lucky. And they're saying here at Lucky's. I mean, that's just mind blowing to me. So there's other Lucky's commercial. I want to show you this one. 
this person went out of their way to make sure you knew it was Lucky's, apostrophe S, in quotes. Lucky's was celebrating their 21st store in the greater Las Vegas area. Commercial for Lucky's, apostrophe S, just the way I remember it. How my, this one is just this is crazy. So now my first Mandela effect is like 2006 or seven. So like 10 or 11 years ago, I've been experiencing the Mandela effect that long. I think this has been going on for hundreds or thousands of years, really. I mean, that's this just looks so bizarre. So my mom asked my stepdad who grew up in Oakland where they had a flagship store. And she says, hey, Ron, do you remember um, Lucky or Lucky's supermarket? And he says, Lucky. And my mom was like, what? So there was Lucky's. I, I'm like, I'm sorry, Mom. I don't want to start a fight. I don't want you guys arguing. But my mom has a lot of the same memories as me. Sally Fields, uh, you know, The Home Depot, uh, Christopher Reeves, on and on. I've talked about my mom many times in a lot of the videos. She shares this, a lot of the same memories with me. So I always check her on stuff. I call her up and say, hey, what's your memory on this? So, yeah, I mean, this was is just so, here's an old truck. This is like from the 70s or something. It was Lucky's. Wow. If you're aware of this one, please vote. Lucky's thumb up. Lucky, thumb down. If you don't know, please don't vote. Um, I imagine this is a West Coast thing, but this is huge for me. It just, I mean, this is just so crazy here. What else did I have? Oh, yeah, just, that's it. That's it, everyone. Th this one here was really crazy for me. Wow. I, I can't believe now I have an 11-year-old Mandela effect. That's it. There'll be more videos to come. I may come out with one more that's pretty crazy, but... Yeah, this just never ends. But, um, man, I wish I had more time. I'd, I'd be doing more videos. I have videos I want to do. I've been researching so much stuff, even while I'm at work. You know, I'm able to uh, listen to some things at certain times uh, when I'm traveling and stuff. And I've just been looking into so much stuff. This is so incredible. I feel sorry for the people who see the Mandela effect as a negative thing. You know, they're going down that dark it's a dark rabbit hole and I've gone down that hole with all the financial videos and everything I used to do and I'm thankful the Mandela effect took over my life and my channel I mean I put it on the back burner and I spend time with my family and I'm glad my son sees some stuff my wife and I don't really well she hears about it but she doesn't really comment much because she's not seeing the changes it's such a bizarre weird thing um but yeah, my daughter even remembers Pikachu with a black tail. And I'm like, that's nah, a Mandela effect. Pikachu never had a black tail. It's always been yellow. So I don't know. She's only seven. So you know, I don't expect her to have a lot of memories that don't match the current reality. But yeah, all these people who are just so negative and dark. And I think that's the reality they're, they're going to have. What I, I've been teaching my son his entire life. Life is what you think. And this Mandela effect has reinforced that. It is really what there's different versions of ourselves. And I think we just go in with the one that how whatever our beliefs are and our thoughts. I mean, we just go that I don't know. I don't know. This is so crazy because I never really thought about things this way my entire life until the past year. No, that's not totally true. I I've read the law of attraction and I've kind of, I've been on this path, but the Mandela effect has just reassured me on so many things. I feel sorry for the people who say, oh, well, that's just a bad memory. You have bad memories. Why won't you just realize that your, you, you know, your memory is not what you thought it was. I mean, really? And then they give me some example like, well, what did you eat on January 23rd for lunch? <laughs> I don't know what that got to do with something I saw hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times throughout my life that's now different. These people, they don't understand what they're talking about. Like, human memory is, is fallible. It's very fallible. We, we can't, we reconstruct our memories. I mean, okay, yeah, I get all that. I mean, that, man, those people, <laughs> those confabulationists, they're just, they keep coming. And I kind of understand where they're coming from, but they don't stop. They just keep coming and they keep coming and they, someone today said that 
some guy with two million subs, he solved it. You know, it's a it's a collective false memory.